Why are newly formed vessels in wet age-related macular degeneration leaky? Um, if we perform an angiography of a uh, newly formed um, neovascular membrane, you can see it as you can see it here, we will see that very often we have large leakages in which the fluid can exude into the subretinal space. Um, the question is why these leakages are not closed by thrombocytes. Normally, leakages between endothelial cells of the choriocapillaries that allow contact to the extracellular matrix are rapidly closed by thrombocytes. As you can see, two endothelial cells of the choriocapillaries with a very small gap directly um, activated these thrombocytes that um, will close this gap very um, quickly. At a high magnification you can see how small this gap is. It's only few nanometers but directly the thrombocytes are activated in the lumen and fibrin molecules has been formed. If we extract such an, uh, CO, neovascular um, membrane as we can see it in a semi syn section of the next uh, of this slide, we see here uh, sometimes that the RPE cells are also surgically extracted, and we have a normally a big extracellular matrix uh, with very small capillaries. These capillaries cannot be recognized by light microscope, but they can. Um, recognized in the electron microscope as you can see here. You have many of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these capillaries are very unusual because they contain only very, very small lumina. Um, the endothelium makes a philopodia projection into um, these um, lumina um, so that a real lumen is not clearly preserved. In the next slide you can see uh, such a capillary at higher magnification. Here we have the nucleus, here we have the endothelium, here we have these uh, philopodia like projections into the lumen, here we have still some fenestra inside the lumen of this capillary, sometimes also the, my the mitochondria uh, are lo localized inside these philopodia like uh, projections. <clears throat> For comparison of the size, I have uh, shown here a double spaced arrow, and this arrow represents exactly to the size of a uh, thrombocyte. Therefore, you can clearly imagine that it is impossible that uh, cellular components uh, can enter these um, capillaries. Even at higher magnification, you can see that. Um, the lumen of these capillaries are, is open to the extracellular space, here indicated by these arrow um, heads. And if these, um, the, these lumina have um, connection to the bloodstream, it is very clear that serum components can leak out from these sites. And this is very likely the cause of uh, leakage. In this scheme I um, try to explain why labyrinth capillaries are not closed by thrombocytes. If there is a gap within the endothelium that will be immediately closed by thrombocytes due to activation by extracellular matrix compounds. The leakages inside the labyrinth capillaries, here indicated by arrowheads, cannot be closed by thrombocytes because the thrombocytes cannot enter them and therefore the leakage cannot be closed. In conclusion, leakages in neovascular 
choroidal vessels were caused by newly described type of pathological labyrinth capillaries. <coughs> um, a full publication uh, has already been uh, published in uh, Graves Archive of Clinical and Experimental Ophthalmology. Um, what also is important that ultrastructural research is helpful in understanding retinal pathologies. Thank you very much for attention.